hello everybody welcome to this another short video tutorial in this video we are going to present you about uh, a renderer named as dynamic table so as you can see that uh, we already built a scenario over here to present about dynamic table so to start off with we already built a gadget naming sap all in the system a4h and then we went to the query list we named the query by adding one query as RFC then we moved on to uh, query settings and then we went in the content section and we added a data provider as generic BEX queries and then we selected one query in the list of queries you can see there are uh, tons of list of queries you could choose from but we selected one and then we went into the properties section to display attributes you can Mm, change the display attributes according to you for example here we are gonna put number instead of name and then we gonna go into the preview section and we can see the difference that instead of name number is going to appear simultaneously you can also change the system if you want now we'll uh, save our work and just more feature one more feature to add on that we can always download our work by tapping into this button so thank you all for listening and watching this video i hope you enjoyed see you in the next video